Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about using arrays in C. A lot of times when we're writing our C programs, we're gonna be dealing with a bunch of different data. And one of the things we can do to control and manage and sort of keep track of and organize that data is put data inside of things called arrays. And an array is really useful because it's basically a container where we can store a piece of information. But what happens in your programs when you're dealing with huge amounts of information, specifically huge amounts of information that are related, right? Imagine I had a list of like a bunch of names or a list of a bunch of numbers that I needed to keep track of. You know, let's say I had like a list of a hundred numbers, right? I wouldn't want to have to create a hundred different variables to store all of those different numbers. And this is where arrays come in. An array is essentially a data structure where we can store a bunch of different data values. So inside of an array, unlike a variable where I can only store one value, I can store hundreds or thousands or even millions of values. So inside of a single array, I could store like five things or seven things or 10 numbers or 20 characters. You know, I could store a bunch of different pieces of information and then all that information would be nice and neat and organized in my program. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create arrays. We can create an array a lot like we create a normal variable. And a variable and array are very similar, right? A variable is basically used to define a container that stores a single value. And an array is used to define a container that stores you know, any number of values. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do when we create an array is give C some information. And the first piece of information is what type of data we wanna store inside of the array. So for example, I could say int, and now I'd be creating an array that would hold integers. If I said char, I'd be creating an array that would hold characters. Um, or if I said like double, same thing, but for double numbers. So why don't we create an array of integers and I'm just gonna call this lucky numbers. Whenever I create an array, I always wanna use a special little symbol. And this symbol will tell C that instead of just creating a normal variable, we wanna create an array. And it's an open and closed square brackets. Whenever I use these open and closed square brackets after the name, it's gonna tell C like, okay, we wanna store multiple pieces of information. Now there's a bunch of different ways we can create these arrays. Uh, the easiest one though is to just say equals, and I can make an open and closed curly bracket. And inside of this open and close curly bracket, I can just start typing out some numbers that I wanna put in this array. So we could type out like four, eight, 15, 16, 23, 42. Now I could basically type out as many numbers as I wanted and I could store them inside of this array. So over here, I, you know, I printed out six numbers. I could print out 600 if I wanted. You know, the only thing that's limiting me is how many I can actually put in here. So you'll notice that I put in the piece of data, so like four, for example, and then I put a comma. And a comma is gonna separate all the elements in the array. So we would say four is the first element in the array. Eight is the second element in the array. These are all considered to be elements inside of this array. And what's cool about this array is it's now storing all of this information. So unlike a variable where we can only store one value, now in this array, I'm storing six different numbers. So if I wanted, I can print this out and I'm actually gonna print this out just to show you guys. So remember, we're gonna print out a number and I'm gonna show you guys how we can access specific elements inside of this array. So all of these numbers are stored in this lucky numbers array in this array structure, but the question becomes, how do we access them, right? How can I gain access to one of these? Well, I could say percent D, so I'm gonna print this out. And now I can just say lucky numbers. So I'm gonna to refer to the name of the array. And when I wanna access a specific element, I can make an open and close square bracket. And inside of this open and close square bracket, I wanna put the index of the element that I wanna access. So all of these elements in here have a specific index and I can access them by putting the index inside of this square bracket. So if I wanted to access this four, for example, I can put a zero inside of here. And now when I run my program, you guys will see that we'll be able to print out that four. So over here, I'm printing out four. If I wanted to access this 15, I can put a two in here. So now when I run my program, I'll be accessing the 15, as you can see. So one thing you might have noticed by now is that we start the indexes and arrays at zero. So when I wanted to access this four, instead of putting a one in here, I put a zero in here, 
right? You might think that four would be at index position one because it's the first element in the array. But in C, we start array indexes at zero. So actually the first element, this four, is gonna be at index position zero. So if I was gonna write out indexes, I would say like four is at index position zero, this eight is at index position one, this 15 is at index position two, 16 is at index position three, et cetera. So that's gonna allow me to access all of these elements inside of the array individually. So I could print them out just by referring to the index inside of these square brackets. Another thing I can do is I can modify some of the elements inside of here. So let's say I want to modify lucky numbers in exposition one. So let's say I want to modify this eight. So I don't like this eight anymore. So I could basically just assign this a different value like I normally would. So I could say lucky numbers and I can make an open and close square bracket. We can say one and I can just set it equal to something else. So I could set this equal to like 200. And now when we print out lucky numbers one, instead of printing out an eight, it's gonna be printing out a 200. So let's go ahead and do that and run my program. And you'll see we're printing out 200 instead of eight. So you can modify any of the individual elements inside the array just by referring to the index. And really when you think about this conceptually, an array is basically just holding a bunch of variables, but those variables don't have names. So when I access lucky numbers one, it's the same as me accessing an integer variable. It's just that you know the array is holding potentially hundreds or thousands or millions of these different variables. So an array is a very useful structure, especially if you're storing data that is very similar. So like I said, I could do this with an int, I could also do this with a double, I could do this with a float, I could do this with whatever I wanted. But there's gonna be situations where you might not necessarily know all the elements that you wanna put inside your array. So let's say I'm creating an array and I don't know what numbers I want to put in it yet. So maybe I just like want to create it. I want to tell C that we need it, but I don't want to necessarily put anything in it right away. Well, up here, we're basically saying lucky numbers, the open and close square brackets, and then we're giving it a bunch of information. But if we don't want to give it all that information, instead, I can just put a, col a semicolon here. But inside of these square brackets, I need to tell C how many elements that this array can hold. So I need to tell C like, hey, this array can only hold like 10 elements or this array can hold 20 elements or whatever. So let's say we wanted an array that could hold like 10 elements. I can put a 10 right here. And now the capacity of this integer array is 10. So it has the potential to hold 10 items. And what I could do is I could come down here and I could start assigning values to those items. So I could say like lucky numbers one is equal to 80, right? So I'm giving lucky numbers one a value. And now over here, I could print that value out onto the screen. And you'll see we're printing out 80. But if I tried to print out, for example, lucky numbers zero, so the lucky numbers at in exposition zero, this is gonna give me a negative two, which basically means that it's not found. So basically means that there's no element inside of lucky numbers at index position zero. But if I wanted, I could do that. So I could say like lucky numbers zero is equal to 90. And now when I run my program, it's gonna be able to do that. So it'll be able to get that value. So in a lot of situations, you're just gonna to wanna to give these arrays values up front right off the bat. But in a lot of other situations, you're not gonna necessarily know what's supposed to go in there. But in a situation like that, you still have to tell C how many elements the array is gonna hold. You still have to like rigorously define like, hey, this array can only hold 10 elements. And that's just so C is able to allocate enough memory in order to hold all of those elements. So that's kind of the basics of working with arrays. Now I do wanna point out um, one thing that we've been using in this course has been uh, strings. So I've been creating character strings. So I could say like char phrase and I could set this equal to draft academy or other times in the program we created like uh, when we were making our little game, we created an arrays and I would just say like 20 and then I would get input from the user and put that information in here. This is basically a string of characters. So anytime we create a string in C, like if I was to create a string over here, I called it like array or whatever, this is an array. 
so we've kind of just been taking this for granted. Like I've kind of just been calling this a string or calling it like a string of characters, but it's basically just an array of characters. The only difference is this is such a common thing to use in our programs that C makes it a little, C makes it special and makes it really easy for us to create it. But just like that array of integers, this is also an array. So now you kind of have a better understanding of what strings are and what they're actually doing. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.